We are down at Sun and Fun in the new and improved ultralight area now known as Paradise City. But there are still plenty of ultralights here, and in fact, I'm sitting in one. Now, I'm an old fixed wing guy. I've flown a lot of different fixed wings. Do reasonably well at that. But one thing I have not done is fly an actual helicopter. This is not a gyro. This is a helicopter. Talking with Kerry from California, nicknamed Hollywood, he says. <laughs> and Kerry is going to kind of give me a basic lesson like he'd give anybody else and therefore, we'll do it for you a few more times. You only have to do it once. So welcome, Kerry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I've got my feet down on some what I would call rudder pedals, but I'm told they're not rudder pedals. So I'll put my feet back up on them here in a minute. And what I learned about these is these are anti-torque pedals. That's correct. And basically, they're going to yaw me. They're going to point me the way I want to go. So that's I got that in my mind now. I'm not sure I could keep all this in my <laughs> mind, but we're going to give it a shot. But now, the stick. Well, this, I know what I do with a stick in an airplane, but you told me some things I need to know here. Right. Let's well, go over that we're, again. We're a little, first of all, let me start from the very beginning here. Once we start this aircraft up, we're going to run it at 6,000 RPMs. Okay. We are never going to stop at 6,000. Power's you, there all the time. When you, okay, so the power goes up, stays up, forget about it kind of thing. You're going you're gonna to push forward, and, and you're going to land in a fixed wing, and we're going to take off and go into transitional flight. Okay, so what we're doing here, when I push forward on the stick, I'm not affecting a tail. I'm changing the the, Pitch. the disc spinning around up here. Correct. I'm making an angle like this. Correct. So I'm going to go, okay, this is going to make me go forward faster. Correct. And lift. You'll go through transitional ah, okay. lift. Okay, because we are starting to move forward, we're creating more lift with Correct. the rotor, Correct. and that's also then going to lift us. Right. All right. right. So right. that's an interesting and a little different concept. There. Okay, so you fixed wing guys, I'm ready to take off. Pull back yeah, and go, we, right? We, pull we back. Yank back. Uh oh. That's not going to do it. I'm going to start going. Hey, wait a minute, I'm not going toward those guys. I'm going back there and I can't see where I'm going. Helicopters fly backwards just as good as they do forwards. <laughs> Again, because we're modifying the disc up there. We're Our blades are now stuff. going backwards. So, so answer a question for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I get it if I move this, the disc goes forward, we start traveling forward, but we're also gonna go up. So how do I not go up if I wanna just stay level? and go forward. Well, you do that? you're going to keep your stick down. You're going to keep pushing it down, keeping the nose down, staying toward the ground. Anytime it, it gets more speed, it's it's like a wing now. It's going to want to lift. Okay. So, so you're going to keep your stick, keeping it down. So I'll, I'll, I'll go forward so gently it, at first. That'll start me moving and move me and up. As your forward motion comes. And then comes, when I don't want to go up anymore, I'm going to lean it more forward. If, as you lean it more forward, you can stay close to the ground. Your ground speed will, will gain, but you won't lift. Okay. okay. There is a happy point right, but I'm here. I'm going to go faster then. You'll go okay. faster. So now I'm going ground. faster, and I go. Okay. Now I'm down to the other end, or some some other place I want to be. Mm -hmm. My 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 procedure to not have that happen is to come back. Correct. And get it into hover mode. You get into the neutral position. Okay. In the neutral position, when you're in the hover mode and you want to go forward, you don't just go forward. It you can, you bump it. And then it'll glide for a while, and then you bump it again. Ah, so you're, okay. you're 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 staying in hover all the time. You just bump it. So if if you're going forward and you want to turn a little bit to the right, you don't do this. You use your. This is when you use your tail rotor on in ground effect, and it will allow the back end to swing around. You just you kind can, of angle it yeah, that way. You're not going to go over like this. If I want to fly toward the camera, I'm just going to push the right pedal. You're, you're going to put right pedal, and it's going to come around. And We're going to right. face him, but I may still be right here. That's correct. Okay. Exactly. But I can go sideways. If correct. I want, right. Correct. While I'm looking forward, and I want to drift that way, let's say. Is that a right hand motion then? I, I make the disc go like that a little exactly. bit? Exactly. Not that much, obviously. But, but you want to be careful because as we're going forward, our skids are aimed in this direction and they're designed to slide. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we're sideways and we're moving, should you get a little wind drift and stuff and that skid catches? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's not, not pretty. Fun. That's not We pretty. don't want to do that. No, we don't do that. So, Stick in the center is a good idea when you're coming in for landing. You want to keep it there. And I saw, I saw you told another fella, probably a fixed wing guy, keep your leg right in there. Huh? Right. That's a way of not doing this kind of stuff. Huh? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And and uh, I was once told in a helicopter that you're hanging on and 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 you want to make a right hand turn. And this is before I knew how to fly. And I said, well, what, what, you lean it over. And he goes, no. You hold on that grip and you think about a right hand turn. And it <laughs> Just goes, sort of nudge and, a little bit. And huh? it will. It's very, very it's a sensitive. dynamic thing happening up here it's all the time. Very sensitive. And you never change the power. i got to repeat no, that. Is no. that right? Six so you're thousand. landing under full power. I, well, yeah, with full engine power anyway. Yes. But Our blades, so, see, in this, in this, uh, and we'll show you here in a bit. Yeah, so you're using MGL Avionics, so one of our great suppliers and in the They are wonderful space. people, and lightweight. These things are really light. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're looking to keep light, light, light here. Yeah. Now, i got to ask you again, though. Mm -hmm. This does make part 103. That's correct. 254 pounds? With floats. 
the floats come with it. Ah, so okay. Yeah. So you get that extra weight allowance. Three hundred fourteen pounds is where we're at. Okay, and you can you can meet those numbers. I have flown Oshkosh. I have flown everywhere. Yep, yeah. I have flown Oshkosh here. I've flown everywhere with this. Yeah, this is a true ultra light helicopter, and one of the very few that's out there, and probably one of the best helicopters on the market today, because of the fact that it's a single seat. And anybody knows that a single seat flies better than anything else. Yeah, right. And so, because it's the way it's designed, it is designed for my weight. I have weight out in these skids. I have six point uh, four ounces uh, in, in, in the, the skid. Where it's located, I see. So okay. My center, center, and so when I lift up, it comes up straight as can be. It's a hundred mile an hour machine. Three is that right? Hundred miles an hour. Wow. Three and a half hours in the air. Oh. Three hours in the air, excuse me. Um, and the maintenance time is roughly. One hour, uh, five hours of flying, one hour maintenance. Wow, that's it, it, sort of the reverse of most helicopters. Well, because if you notice, all of our, we have access to every part. We don't have to remove sheet metal yeah, to get sure. to it. My motor's back there. Well, I can speaking see of that, it. what are we using to power this oh, guy? Why don't we go back and look? All right, let's do that. Well, I got out of the airplane reluctantly. It was kind of fun in there, but I had to see what powers it. What am I looking at here, Kerry, that uh, gets this guy up in the air and does so well for you? Well, this this uh, helicopter again is a true ultralight, so it uh, the motor is ultralight. It weighs 78 pounds and has 60 horsepower. It's called an MZ202. It's cast. Uh, this is the MZ from MZ, Italy. Okay. Cast in Italy. And the great thing about this, and, and and because a lot of my friends are backpack guys, they fly the single cylinder, and they can't seem to get temperature into theirs either. So this is a really good motor to run cool. In fact, we have trouble getting it up to temperature on it sometimes for our EGTs. So it's 78 pounds, 60 horsepower. What we have here is a centrifugal clutch, which engages 2,800 okay. RPMs. Right down in here, uh -huh, this, uh -huh. this heavy looking part. Right, and this is what every helicopter has. This is in case the motor should stop. This separates the top from the bottom, so it's called our spread clutch. Ah, uh, okay, and okay. I've heard that term before. And that's a secret to every helicopter. Now, if you lose power, God forbid, but if you lose power, this allows this to keep on happening. You basically got a glider then, is well, that correct? And, and, of a fashion anyway. Well, it is a glider. In okay. fact, in fact, the whole aircraft weighs 296 pounds. Our blades are similar to the helicopters that weigh 1,000 pounds. So when we go into auto rotations, whoop, 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 it takes forever to come down. It's almost boring. Is that right? Because really? when I was in a so you got some time to oh, think you about get, it. You get in a Schweitzer and you put it in auto rotations, whoa, and you start falling. But this thing, whoa, because it's so lightweight and big. Yeah. Now, you got this engine mounted. I understand why it's mounted the way it is, because that's the right chain of action, but does it cause you any problems with the engine running this way? Do you tend to get fouling on the lower cylinder or anything? No, no, as a matter of fact... Because you're running at high RPM, we're running line, that at, probably helps. Running at huh? 6,000 RPMs, and we actually have a little breather tube that operates the fuel pump, but actually feeds the top journal with oil at the same time. Oh, okay. So our bottom bearings are already getting what the top isn't. Okay, so you're actually helping the... Uh, Correct. That's a change from the regular MZ2. Right, and, and also we don't have to run a transmission now because our crank comes straight up. Ah, and so yeah, by eliminating the transmission, pounds, a lot of pounds, yeah. exactly. And we also, we have a gearbox here where a lot of helicopters will run fan belts. Oh, this yeah. is shaft driven all the way to the tail rotor. Oh, so really? just like the big boys, this is, this is a real live helicopter. You know, it's kind of magical because it's got all the right bits and pieces, just don't, they don't weigh much. Yeah, and, and if I can say the price, uh, it's $33,000 as a kit and $41,000 for factory built any color you want. Is that right? Forty grand for a helicopter. Not and, a gyro, but a helicopter. And it'll that hover. Neat spec. You don't need a pilot's license then. That's correct. You don't need a medical. You don't need a medical. You don't need an end number. No. Nope. And you can buy it ready to fly. And it comes with floats and you can land it on water. Magical. Just about <laughs> magical. You've told us a lot, but we didn't ask you everything. We don't want to do that in this video. We want people to come and see. So where should they go on the web? We'll put it up on the screen. Tell us where well, we go. Well, Mosquito Helicopter, of course, and uh, on any place. But my favorite place to go look is the YouTube. And that's where all of us have, everybody individualizes their helicopter. So mine is Lamborghini Orange with yellow ribbon. You type YouTube and say Lamborghini Helicopter, and you'll find me on there. So all of our helicopters are on there, and they're all flying. We Just a wonderful helicopter to fly. So. That's great. Well, I have a website that I do not have much about the Mosquito on it, but I'm going to have this video and we'll get more as we go along because I'm pretty fascinated by Thank this. Thank you very much. Thanks Appreciate for speaking it. to us, Kerry. Appreciate it. ByDanJohnson.com, BYDanJohnson.com.